welcome back and uh, as we're near the end of our build. So today we're going to have a little fun and uh, I think we're going to put some decals on our teardrop and kind of personalize a little bit. So if you stick around, you'll see what we're doing and how we're going to do it. Stick around. Alright, so we have a lot of decals that I want to put on this trailer, so we're going to be kind of busy. There's two methods of putting it on. One is dry and the other one is wet. So I have some smaller decals that we're going to be placing here on the side. So we're going to be putting those on dry and uh, all we have to do is just kind of clean off the area a little bit and then uh, apply the decals. So I'm just using a little uh, paper towel. I've got it soaked in uh, some acetone. We're just going to kind of clean up the area where we're going to put our decals. We just want to make sure that there's no silicone or oil or dust in behind that is going to interfere with our dear, dear uh, decals. Okay, I think we're ready to install the first one. So, originally I... Uh, put my decals where I wanted them in place and I made a few little marks where uh, when I get ready I can put them back in place and then we'll press things out. So let's start installing. So we're going to be installing this dry so we want to make sure that we get it right the first time. I've got a couple of marks here where I want to line up uh, my decal. like so and then we're going to start pressing it out so we're going to put that on there that's where I want it so then take your uh, squeegee or credit card or whatever you have and slowly from the center work your way out hopefully remove any air that's underneath Okay, and then when you get ready to take off your transfer paper, we're going to pull it back and we're going to slowly pull it back at a, about a 180 to the surface here. And if you see it lifting up, then lay it back down, rub it again. Nice. All right. I think that's going to look pretty cool. We've got three more here that we're going to install on this side, so let's get going. So a good little tip is lay your decal on the surface. Go ahead and press that down because we want that decal to stick to our, not to our transfer side, but to the top side. And then slowly peel that back, and if you see anything sticking, then lay it down and rub it again. Alright, this is gonna be a this will be a fun one. Alright, so we're gonna lay that on here on my marks. Right. Starting from the center. Let's peel that off. And take your time and go slow. Coming right along. Looks good. I do have some air bubbles in here, so we're going to press those out a little bit and uh, make sure it's nice and flat. When we do, we want to make sure and cover up the ends here with a cloth or something so when we press it out, we don't get scratches on the surface of our decal. 
All right, so I think that looks kind of fun. Got our Joker, Batman. Why so serious? And your ha ha's. Looking good. We have one more side to do, and then we've got a few more decals to put on. Now, as we move up in size on our decals, we're going to use a little different technique. We're going to use a wet application. And uh, for that, I mixed up a little bottle of Dawn liquid detergent, soap, and water. And what we'll do is uh, I've got it in place. I marked where I want it to be. And then uh, we'll take this off. We'll remove the backing on our decal and we'll spray that and then we'll also spray the side, put it up here, position where we want, and then we'll start squeegeeing things out. I don't want to squeegee uh, the decal right now on the paper. It's got a few creases and if I do that then I'm actually going to ruin the decal. So we're going to take this off, try to peel this backing off the decal, spray it as we go, spray the side, we'll put it back up in place and start squeegeeing. So let's get her done. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start peeling back our paper. And we'll do a little spray on here. Get hose down. Then we'll go spray the side of the trailer, put this in place, start squeegeeing it out. Alright, so the fun part begins. So we're just going to go ahead and spray the side of our trailer here. And you're going to spray it pretty good. Don't be afraid of that water running down. Then we'll take our decal set it in place where we want it. Alright, now that we've got it where we want it, we're going to start here in the center. We're going to lightly press up the water out from underneath our decal. Apply a little bit more pressure, make sure everything sticks down real good. Get that water out from that decal. Alright, when you're happy with that, We'll let that set for about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll start peeling the paper off. Give it a little time to uh, a little time to dry. And then we'll see if we've got any air bubbles. Pop those, get some more air out, and then we're done. I think it's looking cool. All right, time to admire our handiwork. So we're going to slowly peel this paper back. If anything does stick, then we'll take our credit card, we'll push the paper back down, squeezy things out, and uh, hope for the best. So here we go. Remember, when you're pulling this paper back, just lay it down flat and just roll it back. Don't try to pull it off straight out just in case things do stick you pull up your decal One little 
bubble and it's right here. So, take me a paper towel and my scraper. Pull that down there like that so we don't scratch the decal and see if we can't get that up. Great. Very nice. Let's see if we can't get a close up of that. How well we did. Looks great. Now I know it's probably hard for you to see, but as we're looking at the angle, I see no bubbles whatsoever. Man, that laid so good. Nice and shiny. It's going to set it off. I like it. Now we'll just take a little bit of acetone on a paper towel and we'll take off our pencil marks all the way around and uh, this side is done. I'm liking that. Looks good. Alright, now as we get a little bit bigger now, so we've got a larger area to cover, so we're going to uh, put this decal here on the back lid and same as we did everything else, I lined it up dropped a few measurements, got it where I want it, made a couple of little uh, accents marks so when I uh, put it back in place it's right where it needs to be. So we're going to take this off, we're going to peel the backing off the decal, we're going to spray that real good, we'll wipe this down with some acetone and then we'll spray that with some soapy water real good, we'll put it back in place, slide it around and then we'll start here in the center and work our way out, get out all the air bubbles that we can. So, it's a little bit bigger. See how well we do. So, as we did with our other decals, we're going to take the backing off, and then we're going to liberally spray our decal. You do want to pull this off slow so it doesn't lift to the backing. And if it does, we'll rub that down. Sure, and spray that real good. Now we'll set up and spray the back. We'll apply this. Okay, here it goes. Line that up on our mark and we'll start here in the center, lightly push out some water. Now that we've lightly pressed
pressed out some water. Now we're going to go back and apply a little bit more pressure and work that decal down and make sure no bubbles are in it. I'll keep working this out and when we're ready to peel it off we'll come right back. Alright, it's been about 20 minutes and I'm excited to see what this thing looks like. I am hoping uh, I don't have any bubbles in it but you never know until you peel it off so let's do it. see any edges pull up and lay your paper back down take your uh, scraper and go back over it again real close there still pretty wet underneath and like I said you want to roll that paper back don't try to pull it this way <laughs> or you might just lift that decal and that'll be a shame take your time Definitely no rush. Sweet. That looks good. I only had a few uh, little bubbles underneath which still had uh, some soapy water so it was easy to press out. Alright, now we'll wipe that down, clean it up nice and pretty. We'll take a look at it. Pretty good looking. And that looks pretty good. Got you in the light there, but let's see if I can't cut that light off. Take a look at it. There we go. Much better. <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. Alright. Now we just have uh, one more decal on the front to do. And then we're done for the time being with decals. Sweet. So that's uh, going to be it for this video. And that's how I install my decals. So it's very easy and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Don't be afraid to try it on your own. Believe it or not, this is the first time I think I've ever installed decals. So uh, it went really well. And so, hey, if I can do it, I know that you can uh, have the confidence to do it on your own. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button give the video a, a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to stay tuned and if you'd like to have the plans for the trailer uh, there should be a, a link down below in the description or up top here somewhere uh, that you can see how to get the plans and uh, keep in mind that if you pay by PayPal I send the plans to the email address on PayPal so if that's not correct or updated you better email me because uh, we've had several people in the past that have got plans that uh, said they never received them uh, because of difference in the email so no problem just email me and we'll make sure you get the plans so you can build your own so we're ready to take this thing for a little bit of a haul and uh, have a little fun so until next time stay tuned